Later this week, we're going to see the first debate of the season. It's the Republican debate. It's Thursday. It's right here on Fox. Donald Trump is the front runner by double digits. Expected to be, he may be at the center podium as a result. Mm -hmm. So what is he doing to prepare for the debate? Well, there's a piece in the Daily Caller this week that suggests <laughs> he's doing, according to one of his advisors, nothing. Here's the quote. Doesn't the fact he's at the British Women's Open in Scotland tell you something, says that advisor. Quote, right now, Jeb Bush is in some Holiday Inn suite eating Sucky Club sandwiches. There's some stand-in playing Trump, someone playing Walker, someone playing Cruz. Trump's not doing any of that. Trump knows what he's saying. He knows his own mind. And in fact, our own Eric Bowling sat down with Trump. Here's what he says about getting ready for the debate. I look forward to it. I've never done it before. I mean, I haven't. I'm not a debater. I, I produce jobs. I produce beautiful buildings. I do a lot of good things. And I built great businesses. I built an incredible business. But the fact is, I'm not a debater. I've never done it before. I don't know. Maybe I'll be good. Maybe I'll be terrible. Who knows what I'll do? Oh, boy. And Trump is uh, leading in the polls, as you mentioned. But his Republican rivals say it's only temporary. Take a listen to Jeb Bush and Rand Paul, uh, you know, on one hand, acknowledging his, uh, Trump's rise in the polls, but also trying to downplay it a little. Watch this. It's definitely a phenomenon. I think he's captured uh, the, the deep frustration that people feel. He's, in a very graphic way, appealed to people's anger about those things. And I think it's, it's important to be respectful of that, make the case that we can fix these things. And over time, the Trump phenomena will either succeed or fail based on his proposals. I think this is a temporary sort of loss of sanity, but we're going to come back to our senses and look for somebody serious to lead the country at some point. So yep. you, you can hear the conversations going on yep. in these campaign yeah. offices as the advisors say, look, you're above this, float right. above it, be the Zen master, don't let him in your head. That all sounds great, but when you're standing on the stage and Donald Trump unleashes a slashing attack against you right to your face, can you just stand there and rise above it? No, you have to respond no, you have to or defend else you yourself. Leave. And if you, yeah, that's what that's what the country wants. They want you to defend yourself, it seems, because that's Donald right. Trump's top of the polls, and he's one of the ones that will always defend himself. I like the fact, I think this is the first time I've ever heard a candidate say, I might not do great in the debates. Don't expect much, because I might do great, I might not. So he's I don't a do smart this. guy, I know though. How he's to, also yeah, playing the expectations exactly. game. Donald Trump, no dummy. He's, he's like, I know how to build a business. He likes to call people dummies on Twitter. It, but he is playing the expectations game. How do you game. think he'll do? You think he'll do well? I would anticipate, I mean, look, nobody knows for sure, but based on how he's done, he has outperformed at every step of the way here. Yes, he has. People thought, well, he's not really going to run, he's not going to file the paperwork, oh, he's going to lose because of the John McCain comment, yeah. and he keeps surviving and surviving. And he has the momentum going into this debate. I think the real issue, can Jeb Bush or some other surprise, somebody who's not second or third, not in that top, yeah. top tier, sort of stop the Trump momentum, come yeah. up with a moment in the debate that says, wait a second, you're not getting specific about this or that. Exactly. Right. Someone's going to try. Well, speaking of battles, yesterday in Florida, Hillary Clinton and Jeb Bush and others addressed the Urban League. Now, according to people in the Bush campaign, the idea was that this was going to be a pretty calm moment where there wouldn't be open warfare between the candidates. But Hillary Clinton surprised almost everybody by unleashing a series of pretty harsh attacks against Jeb Bush specifically. See if you can catch the illusions in what she said. Watch. I don't think you can credibly say that everyone has a right to rise and then say you're for phasing out Medicare or for repealing Obamacare. People can't rise if they can't afford health care. They can't rise if the minimum wage is too low to live on. They can't rise if their governor makes it harder for them to get a college education. And you cannot seriously talk about the right to rise and support laws that deny the right to vote. Nobody is, just to be totally clear, that is a slander. You can argue the rest of them, but nobody is supporting laws that deny the individuals right the right to vote, except for felons. But other than that, nobody is in favor. Yeah. That's an outrageous thing to say. And apparently the Bush campaign caught completely by surprise. Well, Governor Bush did not respond to this. He complimented Hillary Clinton and greeted her when he got on the stage. I don't know if that was the right call or not, but that's what we'll happened. See. Donald I Trump's going to be on cashing in today, 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time with our own Eric Bowling. You saw some from that interview. We've gotten a look at the transcript. There's a whole lot more. You're going to want to check it out. All right.